What's up, Redskins Nation? It's Brian coming to you with another episode of Training Camp, Day 4. Um, they put on pads for the second time. They said the intensity had rose up a whole lot. Um, what I want to talk about today is Alex Smith's impact with our team. Um, I've been reading some of the stuff. Um, some of the quotes from Pro Football Focus and also NBC Washington. Um, I've noticed that what stands out to me is his leadership. He's got a lot of leadership. Every play that they run, when someone makes a mistake, he's back there talking to them, getting them on the right page. So when he goes to the next play and he calls it again, they ain't going to have no issues. They ain't going to have no problems. When they're in the game situation, it's going to be the same way. Either he's not going to have to worry about, are they on the same page when I call this? Um, another thing is his accuracy. He's not afraid to take chances. you got to take chances when you're an NFL quarterback. Um, and more times than not, if you take the right chance at the right time, you're going to succeed. Um the reason that Kirk Cousins, he, he, he didn't want to take a lot of chances. He liked to check down a lot to his running backs and his crossing routes. And that's okay and everything if everything's closing down. But when we're getting the third and long, third and eight, third and five, you can't do that. you got to make something happen. And Alex Smith has that quality. Um, that's going to be a huge thing through the season. And I'm sure we'll see a little tad bits in, in preseason, some RPO options to the left and to the right. Um, and that's going to be a big thing as well. Um, like you seen in Kansas City last year, he opened a lot of things up with his legs. I mean, gains of 20, 30, 40 yards, easy. Um, and also, you're going to have a lot of plays where we're going to be able to get multiple looks and multiple openings just because of our our scheme and the way Jay Gruden, Jay Gruden runs things. Um, that's going to be a big thing for Alex Smith as well. He fits in Jay Gruden's system very well um, with the concepts and the slant and goes and the stop and goes and the, sha the uh, faded shoulder throws. That's going to be really big. Um, he's really standing out with his zip on his throws. Um, he's still learning. There's going to be a learning curve there, which is going to be really, I don't think it's going to be too much for him. Um, I feel that he's going to, after about the third preseason game, when they really get a lot of those reps, he's going to be ready to roll. When we go to Arizona in week one, it's going to be an excellent game. I think we're really going to exceed expectations on that game. Um, and then, Another thing is Darius Geis. Darius Geis, um, when we when he drafted him, they was like, oh no, that's a bad move. Um, character issues, this and that. They on the field, the fans love him. His teammates love him. Everybody expects huge things from Darius Geis. Um, even Leonard Fournette from the Jaguars stated that uh, he 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 foresaw. A thousand yards rushing season for this this young man. This is going to be huge for us. This is the first time in 30 years that we've actually had a three down back in the backfield with a qualified quarterback running the running things. Jay Gruden's not going to have to to bite his lip or squint up when he makes a bad throw because he's not going to make many mistakes. And when he does, he's going to own up to it and have accountability. Unlike Kirk Cousins. That's the big thing, too, is accountability for this team. Um, everybody is so excited back to Alex Smith. Everybody's so excited with what Alex Smith can do. He's very decisive. He knows when things are breaking down, when to get out the pocket, when to run, when not to run, when to throw the ball away. He's got footwork out of this world. He always squares his shoulders up when he throws the ball. You'll never see him throwing off his back foot. He's always got it. Y'all see what I'm talking about. But until then, guys, I'll come back with another episode tomorrow talking about day five. I may start back at practice at 945 in the morning. I'll give y'all updates. I'll be up. 
um, letting y'all know what's going on around the NFL and, and especially our Washington Redskins, uh, HTTR. And like always, if you like my videos, like them, subscribe, um, get me out there. Um, like I said, I bleed burgundy and gold. I think about it nonstop. Ever since football went off the TV, I've been thinking about football. Football, football, football is me. I live in Alabama, so it's all college here. All Crimson Tide. Man, I'm a Redskins fan. That's what I am. And I'll be a Redskins fan until I die. HTTR. Love you guys.